All right, y'all, so what's up? We're trying to get into these videos. Gotta make some uploads as much as possible. So uh, here's another video on the new E30. You know, leaving my house. Another video on the new E30. I'm gonna show you guys it a lot better. So I picked up the car probably about two weeks ago and drove it around for three days. Three days into driving it, lost pressure in the clutch, yeah, in the clutch pedal. Lost pressure in the clutch pedal. Let it sit for about three more days. Got a new slave cylinder for it. Putting the new slave cylinder. Bled new slave cylinder. Still no pressure in the clutch. So I was, you know, discouraged. I was like, fuck, this sucks. This is really shitty and everything. So uh, I left the car, came back out to it today. And I was like, man, I have a feeling it's gonna work. Got in the car, clutch was 100% there. So I pumped it for about 10 minutes straight and refilled up the, the master or the the reservoir, I refilled up the reservoir, the brake fluid reservoir, because it's also for the clutch, and just kept pumping it, pumping it, seen a couple bubbles come up, and then kept pumping it, pumping it, filled it up, topped it, topped it off, and, oh, excuse me for that, but topped it off, and, uh, yeah, everything's working good now, here's the car, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the car a lot better right now, and then I'm gonna drive it out to SB, and uh, vacuum it up and then just show you guys. Hopefully I have it cleaned up a little bit. This is a quick little video, but hell yeah. Love this thing. So the car was hit over here in this corner, but I mean, that's not too bad. I don't know if I'm gonna put an over fender over that to fix it or I'm gonna just leave a stock body because I really like the way a stock body looks on it. When that happened, this got a little wavy right here, but there's plate fillers for this car so go ahead and plate filler make that shit straight make it look real nice get the new bumper there's a get the new plastic bumper for it and go ahead and throw that on because it's cracked in that corner it needs new bumpers in the front and back um i went through the wires on it earlier that's what i'm gonna go finish doing right now i need to zip tie them up put the cover on man but it's got nice interior it has a has coupe seats these aren't these aren't a or it has sedan seats, I mean. These aren't coupe seats. If there was a coupe seat, it would have a switch right here. Nice, clean interior. I have the little piece right there. It's in the trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it all out and everything. Um, go ahead and show you guys. Under the hood of this thing. Nice and clean under the hood. Still got stock air box. It still has the original little center caps. That's super rare to find on bottle caps, so that's really cool. And overall, it's just new E30 coupe. Man, I love this thing. It's so nice and cool. It's got a working radio. Definitely needs to be cleaned up underneath the hood. But that'll all be coming. Took a little second to push that down. But hell yeah, this is a better view of the car. And I'll be fixing it up a lot nicer real soon. I'll be doing more videos real soon. Hopefully, actually, this thing will be getting dropped and some wheels on it. And exhaust on it. It has the the cap for the antenna, which is really cool. It's got an M-Tech wheel. It's missing a couple things, though. But door cars on there are nice. It's missing the sunroof right now. I think I stated that before, but I have it in the trunk. And yeah, I love this thing. This thing's so sick. Well, I mean, she drives so, man. No steering wheel shakes or anything. I mean, it's great. Runs mint. It's loud because the sunroof's open, too. But uh, I gotta look into why it runs so cold. I mean, that's a good and a bad thing. I mean, good it doesn't overheat, but. It, uh, it fluctuates a lot with moving, so me and the homie assume that it has no thermostat. But, uh, hell yeah. So guys, daily. Love this thing. Just testing it out a little bit more, and then uh, I gotta get her road legal and everything, get the car situated, but this thing's sick. This person's going really slow in front of me, but, uh, this is cool. Just pulling up to where I stay at in SB. And there's the 30. 
forgot to mention too, she needs the front end, uh, I mean like the grills fixed too. My dad's cleanest freaking 95 a quarter round you'll ever see. He's immaculate. It's got like 100,000 miles on it. And then my baby. I miss my baby so much. Damn it. I forgot the keys for it again too. And I need to get something out of the trunk. It's locked. That sucks. Man, I forgot I took that out. Oh, here's my baby. All in pieces. Honestly, I should pull my, uh, my steering wheel out of the sun. I wanted to crack or anything. Put it right there. Yeah. She'll be back out soon. Hey, y'all, though. Like I always say, tap in with me. Got a lot of things done. Even down to oiling up the locks and getting these locks working again. Because they didn't work when I got the car. Um, Inside all looking nice. Big panel on and everything. So now, I mean, I just got, I got to move it back to the parking spot nice and regular, but she's she's a cool ass C30. That was a weird ass startup. I like I turned it halfway and it didn't turn on. I turned it back and it turned all the way on. That was pretty weird. But uh, yeah, I'm about to just park it right now. C30. I mean, it idles high, but I still haven't replaced the oil control valve and shit. A lot of little things that need to be done on this car, but it's fucking really cool. Replace the slave cylinder. It's coming along. Yeah, this thing is sick. Nice running E30. And that's a wrap. Tap in with me, y'all.